Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you multiband dynamic EQ in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create dynamic EQ using one band, but we could also do it using multiple bands. So let's go through how to set this up. I have a drum beat project in front of me. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm noticing some problems with the EQ of these drums. There's a lot of low end sub, some mud in the lower mid frequencies, and it's also too bright on the cymbals. Now we can obviously fix this with EQ, but if we use dynamic EQ, we can have it modulate based on the frequencies taking place at each moment. So let's go to the track effects right here and start off by adding re EQ. Then we'll remove all the bands except for one. We'll change this to a band filter and cut out some of that low end mud or at least find it. Right about there, feels right. We're removing the lower mid range that's creating some mud. So now we're going to duplicate this plugin by copying it and pasting it, and then renaming the second one right here. Rename effects instance. We'll call it sidechain and mud so we know what it's doing. Then we'll put it before this one and turn this one off. Then we're going to change the type of band we're using to a band pass. That's going to remove all the frequencies before and after this chosen frequency. So that's the frequency we want to remove. So this is going to trigger this EQ to reduce those frequencies whenever they're loud. So now we're going to go to the plugin pin connector right here. And we can see the plugin is coming in on one and two and going out on one and two. Let's take it out over here and add two channels and send it to three and four. So now we're not going to hear this plugin. But we could still use it as a side chain. We'll go back to this one. Turn it on, touch this frequency on the gain, and go to the menu and choose parameter modulation. Then we could turn on audio control signal sidechain, set the baseline so there's no cut or boost. We just double click it, set up the sidechain to be three and four, so it's being triggered by the sidechain MUD plugin. And we can control how it's affected down here. Make the attack and release a little faster. Let's change the direction to be negative. So it's going to cut instead of boost. Then we can adjust the minimum volume to control the range. And we can see up here the frequency is being cut every time it's present on the drums. But it's moving a bit too far, so we can adjust that with the strength. It's also moving too fast, so we can slow down the release. So every time there's too much mud on the drums, it gets reduced right here, based on how loud it is. But now we can do the same thing with other frequencies. So let's add another band. 
we'll choose a low shelf, then move it over here and cut it, readjust the bandwidth over here, and reduce the lower sub frequencies. Right about there, feels good. So once again, we'll duplicate the EQ, copy and paste, rename it, sidechain sub, we'll put it before this one. We can remove the first band because we're just using this one, right click it and then flip it. So now it's boosting. Go to the plugin pin connector and send this plugin to five and six. So I can go back to this one, choose this frequency, touch the gain, go to parameter modulation, and do the same thing for this one. We set this, change this to five and six, bring down the attack and the release. Move the direction to negative and reset the minimum volume. And readjust the strength. And now, just when the drums have too much sub, it's going to be reduced right over here. Completely separately from the mud. Let's do the same thing with the top end because the drums sound a bit too bright. So again, we'll add another band to this one. Set this up to be a high shelf, readjust the bandwidth, and reduce the top end. Duplicate the plugin, rename the second one to be sidechain top end. Put it before this one, remove band one and two, and flip this one. So now it's boosting, but we're also going to add a band to the side chain to remove the frequencies down over here. We'll choose a high pass. Now it's just focused on the top end. So this is going to trigger our top end cut on the EQ. Go to the plugin pin connector, add two more bands, and switch it to seven and eight. Go back to this one, touch this frequency and the gain, go to the parameter modulation and do the same thing with this band. On seven and eight, adjust the attack and release, the minimum volume, set it to negative, the baseline to zero, and adjust the top end from here. Slow down the release. Now it smooths out the top end 
whenever it's too much, but it's completely independent of these two other frequencies. Let's hear it before. It's kind of muddy and boxy with a lot of top end. It's a much more controlled sound. And if you want to use this effect again, we don't have to set this up twice. Instead, we can just right click over here, go to effects chains, and save all the effects as a chain. And just name it drums, multi band, dynamic EQ. And if we want this effect, let's clear it, let's remove all the extra channels. We can just right click the track effects button, go to effects chains and just find it right here. And it's going to bring in all those effects exactly as we saved it. We can still tweak it as far as the frequencies. and the parameter modulation on each band. And of course this is going to work on any source you need it to. I just showed it to you on drums because a lot of different frequencies coming in and out at different times. But this is going to work on bass guitar, bass synths, or even vocals. So that's multiband dynamic EQ in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.